Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Stone Love, and if you're new here, it's all about the science and psychology of manifesting. And today we are diving into something that is absolutely transformative. It is changing my life. It is how to manifest by befriending your fear. Fear isn't just an obstacle. It's not just your blocks. It's not just what's holding you back in your life. It's actually an incredible alley in manifestation. It is like a compass guiding us, showing us on where we need to go next. This whole perception shift on fear has changed everything for me. I am literally changing my entire life. I am going from a person that used to slave in front of the computer 60 to 70 hours a week, completely burned out, insomnia, depression, all the things, to now I work roughly five to 10 hours a week making almost the exact same income. I am outsourcing. I'm doing things that I never thought that I could do, that I've been trying to do for over 20 years. I'm manifesting large lump sums of money left and right. I'm stepping into my purpose work. I and mean, I spent many, 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 many years so frustrated because I couldn't make the change. I couldn't take the first step. And if that's how you're feeling right now, if you're feeling stuck, then you're gonna watch this video because this little perception flip on the way I'm viewing fear, the way I'm viewing doubt and befriending it, actually even getting excited about it when it pops up now, because I know that it is highlighting what my next step is and where I need to go and what I need to focus on. Fear and doubt is actually like our natural guardian. It's here to protect us. And I'm gonna share with you today how it can become your secret weapon to manifesting. And how exciting is that? We're gonna take our blocks and actually use them as our roadmap. Just get quiet for a minute, close your eyes, think about your goals, what is it you wanna manifest? And now imagine yourself taking the first step in doing that. What is the resistance you hear? Oh, I can't do that, I don't have time. Oh, I'm not good enough. Or if I do that, I might fail. Or I might lose all this money. Or I might waste a bunch of time. Or maybe you hear a voice saying that it's selfish of you to do something that you really wanna do when your family needs you. So the first step is really just getting clear and identifying our fear, which oftentimes is disguised as protection. So it can be really tricky. So for me, for instance, I'm moving forward, taking big steps and building my first online course on helping moms overcome postpartum depression. And what's going on in my mind right now is my my biggest fear is saying, oh, you're, you're doing too many things right now. You just started the level two of chakra clearing. How are you ever going to balance also creating your online course for postpartum depression? This is too many things going on. It would be a lot better if you just wait. That procrastination right there is a protection mechanism. It is the next fear that I need to work on. Shakespeare says that our doubts are our traitors. And oftentimes it's difficult to identify our fears because they show up as protection. Don't have your first baby until you've got enough money in the bank. Don't do this. Don't start on your dreams or goals until life is perfect. But now I know all of those voices in my head are literally just trying to keep me back with what is familiar and what feels safe. And our subconscious's job is to keep us alive. And the best way to keep us alive and to protect us and to keep us safe is to keep us doing what is familiar. That is why we get stuck repeating patterns year after year. So we need to ask ourselves, am I making this decision out of fear or am I making this decision out of love and faith? One small decision can actually hold us back for our entire life. But there is something within all of us that's more powerful than our fear. But because of free will, the universe will deliver what we choose to believe. But it's up to us to make that choice. So when you're working on your dreams, and you're about to move forward, you're about to go give that speech, you're about to ask out somebody on a date or whatever it might be, and you hear those voices start popping up in your head. I want you to stop, do a pattern interrupt, take a deep breath, change your breathing pattern, and write down what those voices are saying. Because for one, that gets it out of you and onto paper. When my fears show up, I identify what they are, I call them out as protection, I befriend them, I send them love, I thank them for protecting me all these years but this is no longer serving me and I'm gonna now react differently. And I can tell you instantaneously that fear starts to quiet down. Remember, a belief is just a thought that we think over and over. And if we continue pattern interrupting every time this fear comes up, we begin thinking different thoughts. And as we begin thinking different thoughts, that fear begins to dissipate because what's within us grows stronger, our courage, our faith. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I know there is something inside of me that is greater than this fear. I know it because I wouldn't have the imagination to dream up these dreams if it weren't for a purpose, for a reason. 
what we put our attention on, the universe hears it as our intention. That's why sometimes we counter manifest on accident. When we're focusing on something we really want and then all we can think about is the fears and the this and the protection. Well, if that's what we're focusing on the most or saying to ourselves the most, then that frequency is sent off to the universe and it pushes our dreams further away because what we put our attention on grows. Our attention becomes our intention. And we all know about the power of intentions. And it's our reaction to fear that changes our intention. Identify the fear. Figure out what it is it's trying to tell you, what it's trying to protect you from. Write it all down. Thank it for showing up. And firmly let your subconscious know, let the universe know this is no longer serving you. This is not what you want. And you're going to move forward in the direction of your dreams because you know deep down inside of you there is something inside of you that is greater than this fear. We're going to flip the script and turn this fear into our alley, into our best friend. So we're gonna write the statement that comes down and we're gonna reframe it into an affirmation that's positive, something like this. So instead of saying, I'm afraid to fail, I'm afraid I can't do it, switch it to say, I'm excited to learn from this experience. These little subtle shifts are really powerful. And the last step is to take action because fear can paralyze us and we can break that spell by taking action. What's the smallest step I can take today? Take the baby steps. Step by step, you can climb any mountain. Step by step, you can build anything you want in your life. And remember, all day long, every day, we're already manifesting. We are powerful creators. Whatever we're thinking about, we are pulling those experiences into our life. So we might as well start manifesting by design instead of default. And each little step you take, no matter how small or how big they are, celebrate those wins. Use your fear as your compass. Instead of, I'm gonna think my way through this problem, I'm gonna think my way to the solution, feel your way through it. Let your heart guide you. I have absolutely changed my life, and I know that if I can do it, you can too. I'm Sarah Stone Love. Join me every week. I'll be sharing more content on how to manifest your dreams.